Welcome, you guys. Good day, good day, good day. All right, listen to this, you guys. Everything you can do all you want, but you know, you still need help from the boss. We need help from the boss. That's what happened. We need help. Yeah, we need help. It's all right to say. Now, they'll criticize me for that. How dare he say that? How dare he say that? No, I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll say it. Somebody said to me the other day, you're the most famous person in the world by far. I said, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. They said, yes, you are. I said, no. They said, who's more famous? I said, Jesus Christ. I'm not taking any chances. I'm not going to have an argument. Hey, I'm not having any arguments. Jesus Christ. I'm not going to take any chances. I'll give it, I guarantee. And let me look up and I'll say, and it's not even close. <laughs> Can you guys imagine I mean, it's a that? tricky thing. Amazing, eh? Tears to my eyes. Thank you, Horatia, for that this morning. I want to pray and put a hedge of protection around Donald Trump, the army, the Navy, the military, and all that is good globally that is helping us to get free. A huge thank you to everybody who's putting comments in the comment section. Welcome back, Curtis. We missed you guys. Um, you guys are finding us for the first time since you do mess with us. We're on Noble L the second. We'll be uploading here, you guys. So much stuff came down the pipeline yesterday. You guys see the next distraction that's coming about in the midst of all this Biden crime family email stuff and the bombshells with all the the, the extortions and the bribes and the 150 billion and all the corporations that he ended up paying out. And now we're discovering the media and the tech, the high big tech is probably involved and they might've got some payout. It's getting big, you guys. So yesterday they reported that Wallace, Walter Wallace, is that his name? Which is so strange, that name. So strange, you guys have no idea. I don't know him personally, but um, they're saying he had um, some issues. But here's what I thought was interesting. Um, which I really kudos to Attorney General um, Barr. There was a meeting that he had and they were talking about the executive order. There's an executive order, um, you guys, 13929, safe policing for safe communities. Um, as that young, well, I don't know how old he was, but that man was taken out. He was bipolar or something and he was having an episode. So they're using that now to tear up Philadelphia, right? Um, Donald Trump and the Army, the Navy, the military, you guys, Attorney General Barr, thank you guys to stay on point. So Attorney General Barr announced updates on the Operation Legend during a press conference in Kansas City, Missouri. I put the link into all that's going on, including the Executive Order 13929 in the description on the last video called SAIL aka fire sale okay so um john ron uh smith deputy assistant to the president interviews attorney general Barr, william p Barr. um and here's a link to that right which is about the executive order 13929 you guys look it up if i get a chance i will read it Oligarch. You had to look up what this word was because they're using some words like quid pro quo and I had to look that up too. Oligarchy is a form of structure, is a form of power structure in which power rests with the small with a small number of people. These people may distinguish may be distingu distinguished by nobility, wealth, education, corporate, religious, political, or military control. This was on Wikipedia, or one man or woman having all these traits, including the finances. This probably is a real oligarchy that they're talking about, because they're saying that um, Biden was um, Hunter Biden ended up going with the. He went on the board of the company called Burisma. Burisma was owned by this high head oligarchy in corrupt Ukraine. Oh, but Biden took bribes and paid out extortion fees and all kinds of crap um, to and blackmail fees to China and all these different 
corrupt countries, eh? Um, 40 years of disease creation. A doctor who had written over 100 books. All of it was a hoax. Polio was a hoax. AIDS was a hoax. Cancer was a hoax. Diabetes was a hoax. Um, all created by the big pharma. All orchestrated, you guys. I heard that yesterday. I just about fell off my chair. I was listening to Dr. Charlie Ward explain the interview he had with Dr. Young. Um, go and join Dr. Charlie Ward's um, um, website, and you guys will be able to join. You can also join his um, membership group, where you'll have access to some very high um, information over there. Um, good morning, uh, Curtis Rogers. I finally found you. Man, I'm so happy to see you guys this morning. Yes, they were messing with us. We're, we're over here on Noble L the Second. You guys subscribe, share, and like this channel. Good morning, JL Noble L. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you for sharing great info, protection, love, and blessings to you and your family. Yes, to you and your family too, JL. Um, Amy Comet Barrett was nominated as Supreme Court judge. We talked about that on October 26, 2020. They're trying to go after her a little bit, so put a hedge protection around her. <sighs> Excuse me, and her family. Peace and love to Noble L. Love hearing your voice. Love hearing your voice, Lim Shady. All right, Jackie Kofti says, thank you, Jackie, Jackie Kofti, for your, you guys, we asked for $1 per video. Um, if you guys want to send us more, we greatly appreciate it here. It helps us and our tribes here go through as we did not get any of the so-called stimulus package that was out there. I bet you any amount of money that the Biden um, extortion and bribery in you with Ukraine oil and the six, the teal seal team six um, who were taken out by them are all connected to the railway fire sale, all brought under, all bought and owned by the Biden crime family and the rest of them, Clintons, Bush, whatever also known as a CCP is the correct is this correct comment below you guys mm, below um, that is what our angel guides are telling us here now Dane Calloway was saying something um, yesterday somebody sent me something and um, very important however I didn't fully understand what he was alluding to um, we know that we're in a situation, Dean Calloway, right now. We find ourselves in this very sticky situation. We know that all entities are, in fact, de facto, right? And we know that it was by the grace of God, Donald Trump signing these executive orders. Thank you, Donald Trump. And then implementing them under the... Using the Insurrection Act. The Insurrection Act is what he used under the 14th amendment which we didn't get a chance to read the full 14th amendment either because they never shared it with us so um he used the 14th amendment stuff to um, basically get the people out of hot water um who were being subject to the so-called cabal here is Haley Selassie I and the king um they sent us these yesterday you guys comment below. Uh, we already talked about Haley Selassie and what we, the angel gods, had shared with us so that we know. Oh, they won't let me bring it up, so hopefully it'll come up eventually. I don't need to go around. Anyway, this is a queen and some kings. Here's the Rastafaro with Haley Selassie. Um, looks like he was in the army. Um, here's another king. See the, yeah. Here's Haley Selassie, right here, shaking hands, joining team. This must be the Chinese Communist Party somewhere in here. Um, no, I don't know. I'm just, you know, looking at some of the people that are there. There's another queen. Um, let me see if I can bring this stuff up. So you can't see it the way it is right now. Okay, so... He sent this one to us. Can you guys see this? Dwarf planet Zoot, planet Pluto. Mm -hmm. Closest star to the sun. Estimate time travel is five hours. 35 minutes to Pluto. I don't even know how they would know that, but 
destination uh, 3 to Saturn, estimated time arrival 1.18 hours, estimated time of arrival 4.36 hours to Mars, destination 2, destination 1, Earth's moon. I heard so much stuff yesterday. It was not even funny. All these arrests, you guys, that have been made. Look like um, YouTube might have taken down another one I posted yesterday. Because they rounded up some other bankers and stuff, you guys. I want to say, was it JP Morgan or Chase? God, one of those banks, if I find I'm going to put in the link so you guys can read what happened over there. Because they were um, giving out all these bribes. To all these other corporate agents this was a bank in malaysia a lot of stuff that went down i don't know um they sent a lot of stuff a lot of cases that they have um charged these entities even the fbi agent had he had charged another entity and i put that in the description below it's taken off so if i find it you guys go and do the research don't take my word for it a lot of stuff is coming down the pipeline. They are getting rounded up like flies. All right. Now, um, closest to the sun is, um, closest star to the sun is, um, what's this one? 4.3 years. Closest star to the sun, Proxima Centauri. I've never heard of that. Destination 6, center of the Milky Way galaxy. This feels like we're in Star Wars. That's what this feels like, you know. It's a war. It's a Star Wars. I was talking to someone yesterday in a taxi who was showing me this movie that he got. Um, I think it's called, I want to say, Dilemma, Social Dilemma. Or, dil yeah, Social, Social Media Dilemma or something like that. I was watching a bit of it in a taxi. And he, I was just surprised that they even had that movie. And he was talking about America being the forefront to all the stuff going on. And I was explaining to him that it's really these crime families who were, in fact, doing business as um, politicians, de facto agents, actually. And then they also shared with us Facebook, Twitter head uh, Dorsey was being questioned by Ted Cruz. Well, Ted Cruz took a strip off of Dorsey Twitter for going and banning and blocking New York Times post. Um, yeah, that was talking about what was going on with the Biden crime family and asked him some really hard hitting questions. I'm just waiting, man. I'm just waiting to hear when the shit hits the fan and everybody knows what's really going on. Um, closest spiral galaxy. And here was Jack Dorsey saying that, oh, they've changed it on Twitter. They made a mistake and how New York Post can go in and all they have to do is delete the first one and they can repost it. Forget that. All they have to do is fix it and let the people say what they need to say so they can share information and know what's really going on. Eh? Closest spiral galaxy. I can't wait till Donald Trump can bust out and come out and say that all this stuff was a hoax and a fraud. Homo, um, I was talking to somebody yesterday that just, you know, sometimes you guys meet these people and you just like shake your head, eh? And they were saying to me that they didn't see um, anything happening to the people wearing masks. And I was saying, that's good. I'm glad I'm happy for you. And um, just left it at that because there's no point. You guys don't try to change the people who are asleep, eh? Let them stay asleep. <laughs> Um, Como cluster of galaxies, um, 340 million years. And yesterday I had to get mad at God because I was, we were on the roadway and perfectly beautiful day, sunny and bright, shiny, pristine, right? About, um, I'd gotten tired out. So I said, you know what? I'm going to take a rest and, um, the rest of my tribe said they go ahead and whatever. Next thing I know, and that's why I hate the phone, eh? All of a sudden, I see these black clouds. That's what I'm saying. Donald Trump, it looks like there's an agent here controlling the weather. Because we were talking about the weather warfare here. And I was saying, who are the people that lost their property in St. Thomas and Kingston and all these places they're reporting to us? I haven't even seen it on the news. I don't know what's going on. But people are just talking about it. People are losing their lives and stuff. And I was saying yesterday that the, the people who are knowledgeable spiritually, 
where fishermen and, you know, big elders were talking about the sea. And they're saying the roughness of the sea here is when the sea needs blood. And um, back in the day, apparently what used to happen is why these agents here are so daft, man. Pisses me off. Back in the day, what used to happen, you guys, when the sea and the water would rise up like the way it is right now, automatically the agents in power would feed the sea a cow or whatever it needed because it needed blood, right? To circumvent and protect the people on the land, right? No, these agents here have done nothing, okay? Knowing full well that people don't have any money, right? And so now I'm trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to get whatever. Because a cow, I don't even know what a cow costs here. Probably you're looking at probably, I would say, at least, maybe I'm lowballing it, but probably a hundred or a couple hundred thousand. For a cow. I don't know where I'm going to get that from. <laughs> I have no idea. Ooh. Anyways, I'm just saying, international authorities, the um, Army, the Navy, the military, the Marines, the International Criminal World Court, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Donald Trump, Jay Clayton doing business, security exchange head, also Joseph Odding doing business, control of currency, Louis DeJoy doing business, Postmaster General, also Federal Trade Commission. Um, I, I'll keep saying the clearinghouse heads. Um, then the antitrust department heads, also the FBI, Federal Bureau Investigation says that are good, and Interpol and the fraud department agents that are good, right? And the Universal Postal Union agents that are good. I come to you in good faith, the heads one, the head chiefs, right? And one's proper person is living, flesh and blood, sentient being, Sir Jura, Sir heirs, heir to the world's vast estate, um, Moabite, Hittite queen, right? Go now and see if you can, um, uh, holding the highest diplomatic office, AA222141-4495934, to set off all matters pertaining to taxation and what have you, which everything is a tax. Go now and get someone, a farmer, to go and do what they need to do and put the cow in the water because it's getting crazy here. A lot of people, if you know, have died recently through some crazy ass ways that I can't even fathom. Um, they said a man was sucked out of his house. Um, he had just built a little shack, him and his daughter. Two of them died at the same time. Literally went in and sucked them out of their house or something. So go and feed the, the, the water, the, the blood that it needs so it stopped eating the people, right? And um, yeah, you guys can laugh, but that apparently that's a spiritual thing. Who knew? I didn't even know that until yesterday or the day before. These fishermen were talking about it. That's what used to happen back in the day. The people in power here used to make sure that the blood was the, the the cow was fed to the sea so that it got the blood that it needed so the people were protected. These agents here, what are they doing going on the road extorting funds from people that don't have any money? Ooh, take them out, you guys who are international. Go and do what you need to do. Put some people in here that make sense too, that have common sense about sp the fact that we're spiritual beings first physical being second right go and do that for us now this morning and then find out if there's a weather modification head here controlling the weather like they did yesterday because you can't tell me it rained you guys listen to this i'm standing in an area right i could see the cloud developing right over where i'm standing and i could see kind of how far it goes over to the right perfectly sunny and bright clouds no not a problem now a day before that, I saw the droplets in the sky because what happens here when they're going to do weather modification stuff, they usually use that line that we look up in the sky and we see, right? Chemtrails. I saw the droplets and I said to God, those don't look like normal clouds to me. I said, those are the, the things that I see when weather is about to happen, right? It's weather warfare. Star Wars, you guys. I know this channel's really funny, but you gotta laugh, man. Seriously, when you think about it. All right, so sure enough, I see this weather soon as I get on the goddamn phone. Because I had to call our driver, right? Because where I was located. As soon as I call them, right? Our tribe's on the road. They're trying to get home as quickly as possible, right? Because they got stuff that they're taking for us, and it can't fit in the taxi. All right. So... As soon as they start their journey, all I see is this, mather, this massive um, rain, torrential rains come down like you, swear to God, 
you're in some tropical rainstorm business, right? And I start to get mad. <laughs> you guys know what I like to get mad, right? Finally, um, I locate um, our tribes, and one made it home safe, so I was really glad about that. The other one was still trying to get there, right? They had more stuff, so it was taking them a little bit longer. So I said to the driver, drive around first, pick them up, and then, because I had located a spot where I was pretty well protected. And in addition to that, I was seeing our other tribes here that we were connecting and finding out how everybody was doing in North Carolina, New York, and all over the planet, right? So I was happy about that. So anyways, what happened was a driver called and said they couldn't locate the second set of tribal people then. And so they came, picked me up. So we're driving around now, traveling around, trying to find our second set of tribal people. So on the second or third drive around, I'm starting to get pissed out now because I'm like, this place is only five minutes big. They can't be that far. Like I can't see why I can't see them, right? So I'm saying to God, what the hell? I'm driving around. You need to be God and be God and show me where they are. So five seconds after I said that, they phoned and they said they were they had gotten home as well, too. They're all right. Because their phone, I guess, had died and whatnot, right? I say all this to say that, you guys, there is a God. I don't care what anybody has to say. People write to us all the time, dogging us out here. Eh? Even Donald Trump said there's a God. There's a bigger boss in, in, at play. So all I'm asking international authorities, let Google get up off our emails and off our comment sections so that people can find us and off our videos and stuff. Because people are looking for us. I can feel it. Just like Curtis, who found us this morning. So, um, yeah, let the people see, hear us so that they can know what's going on spiritually and pray, right? That's all we're asking for everybody to pray at this time as six days is left or whatever, I guess five days now, um, to this whole thing does what it needs to do. And yeah, they found a woman yesterday who was, what was she doing? Selling, selling votes, buying votes, is that how it works? giving gifts to people f to vote for the Democratic Party, really? So she got busted. They had her on videotape, go around her ass up. And I'm like, you know, they're telling us this is not a, a, a situation. It's not a vote between Democrat and Republic anymore. This is about good and evil, right? This is about, even a girl was talking about on Dr. Charlie Ward yesterday. She was saying that nobody can vote because... 1861, we know there's a coup d'etat and you're voting for treason and this and that. And Charlie Ward was explaining to her, as I was thinking about it, and I was saying, yeah, but at the same time, had it not been for Donald Trump and the executive orders, I don't know what would have happened. Because had it not been the White Hats and the Army, the Navy, the Navy, the military, and all that's good globally, that got up and basically stood up for all of us, I honestly don't know what would have happened to all of us. So... By the time she realized what Dr. Charlie Ward was saying to her, right, that all the stuff that Donald Trump has done, because she obviously didn't do enough research on that man. Look how many people you guys, we know, and you guys know, that stood up to this cabal, thinking that it was one entity, not realizing it's a whole group of corrupted entities that the universe supposedly they're saying is clearing the earth is cleansing the earth from all of it and we're over here trying our best to protect people them <clears throat> who have some sense right so that they know what the heck's going on you see what i'm saying so <clears throat> yesterday jack dorsey got a strip taken off of him by ted cruz kudos to you ted cruz i was really happy to hear somebody just really putting these entities in their place because he said how dare you how oh, who gave you the authority <clears throat> as Twitter to go in and interfere with a news media head explaining to us what went on so the people can make sense of some stuff in the so-called Star Wars with this Biden crime family pretending to be, um, I want to say Kamala, who's running for so-called uh, president, um, Biden, who can't even remember his own name, much less Trump's much less what time of day it is. And I'm not out here uh, protesting to say I can remember anything either, hence why I'm not running for president. But I'm just saying that he's out there running, clearly stating that Kamala's going to be running the show, you guys. And they're saying that she's really liberal 
and they're talking about conservative. The truth is, I don't even know the difference between liberal and conservative. I only know a wretch when I see one, right? You can't put people in jail for smoking weed or having weed. Like that to me is just wrong, right? And then in the same breath saying that she smoked weed herself and inhaled. That's just wrong, you guys. <laughs> I know you want to laugh, right? It's funny, you got to laugh. All right, so um, international authorities, go and give the, the, see to it now, some agent here today, go and feed the water, the cow that it needs, so it can leave the people alone, right? Because it's eating up everything, right? And it's, we're tired of seeing it, because we're tired of hearing the people crying and bawling to us about who got taken out and stuff. It's just too much. And stop, whoever's in charge of the button for the weather warfare here, let them just stop it now, because they're using AI Get on the phone, the nationals here, and they use the AI to control the weather rate. Watch why, which is why I rarely use the phone or bring the phone anywhere with me personally. I just don't even bother people try to call me to thank us. And I'm like, you know what? When I see you, we'll talk because I don't want to be a part of any phone weather warfare business in this little Star Wars business, right? Okay, let me see if I can bring up the rest of the stuff. Anyways, so thank you in advance for your speedy response to that matter by Noble Honorable Ange L. Unity Alpha L. Ruben I Tribe Chief, American Indian, Elodial Title Moorish American National, UCC 1 308 without recourse, all rights reserved. Let me see here now. Let me bring this back down to size. See if I can show you guys the next one, right? Prince, this is Prince. Um, UCC 1-308, I stand by the Book of Ruth by my organ harvested husband Jackson and myself was subject to all kinds of crap. Um, this is Prince. Prince questioned government recognized America um, is a, as a modern slave plantation, stood up against the oppressive. It's the whole planet, Prince. It's not just America that was listed as a modern slave plantation. They sold us into slavery, you guys, from the creation of the birth certificates. But I want to say, even before the birth certificates were created, shit was going on. Before 1933, stuff was going on. Stood up against oppressive industry and could play 27, music, 27 musical instruments. I didn't know that. Prince could play 27 musical instruments. Be like Prince. <laughs> we have some tribal members. These must be the Mongolians, because these look like half-breeds, right? All right, now this is the Indian treaties. Hold on, let me see if I can bring it up so you guys can see it. Hang on. All right, so they started G.R. Clark's Grant, 1783, Greenville. These treaties, I want to say, was what they used to do the Trail of Tears, seal the people's lands. Grenville, 1795, because I don't know who signed on to these treaties. Fort Wayne, 1803. Vincennes, um, 1804. Grossland, 1805. Fort Wayne, 1809. Fort Wayne, 1809. <clears throat> Marnie, 1817. New Purchase, 1818. Chicago, 1821. Mrs. 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 It's like, I want to say Mississippi, it's not. Mrs. N-E-W-A, N-W-A, 1826, Mrs. Name, Mrs. Name, I don't know. 1826, Carry Mission, 1828. Tip, tip Canoe, 1832. Tip Canoe, 1832. Wabash, 1834. Wabash, 1840. Indian Treaties, which opened. You guys can join us here for... Our online tutor school class, though I have yet to put up the 13th one. I'm still waiting to see the angels rise up, man. Um, Indian treaties, which open land to settlers. Um, boundaries of descent day. What does that say? Um, counties shown by um, dashed lines. I see that Indianapolis, Bloomington. Yeah. All right. So that's that one. You guys can research that some more. Comment below. Let us know. Those of you who needed the GSA bonds to set off, set off matters. Um, if you have tickets, citations, child support cases, mortgages, foreclosures, 
utilities, auto loans, student loans, and warrants. And for those of you having to see an agent doing business as parole officer, as well as those of you in for, um, those of you having uh, warrants, and those of you in for non-violent offenses, you can email us. People are reporting to us, you guys. They're getting out of jails. They got their mortgages set off. They got their auto loans set off. They got their automobiles back, houses back, their children from Child Protective Services back. We didn't even have this when we got our baby back, but I'm telling you, this stuff works. GSA bonds to set off matters, you guys. And email us for the bond templates and stuff. We do have to ask for donations for our time and our research. Also for the 1099 OID, they tell us it's $2 million per charge. We didn't get back that much, all right? But we did get back something significant and stuff to this day. We're still grateful for that. And so, yeah, we only share, share stuff here that works. The do not detain affidavit. The IRS status correction, you can write us for that. The manufacturer's certificate of origin, so you own the automobile in that. And also, because it'll take them a minute to implement all this stuff, eh? To get back to the common law. Because we're, that's what we're seeing. Um, yeah, they sent us some other information. We're going to put that up in a second. But um, you can email us for all that stuff, right? Some of Donald Trump's executive orders, the Insurrection Act. We made a video about that and a whole bunch of stuff you guys hear us talk about here. The fraudulent conveyance of language laws, the chain to the sky books so you know how to do postal money orders. Also, um, you can get the 11 affidavits that goes with the chain to the sky book with it. And also the herbology book, our book, time is the master, time is the key, right? And then now, hang on, let me go back to here. Yeah, so you can email us for all of that stuff that we share with you here. Hang on, move that up. Nope, it's not coming up. Hold on, maybe I'm not all the way down. Yeah, I am. Okay, so it's not letting me get any more. Mm, let me see, God, what can I do here? I move this over maybe. Still not coming up. Still not coming up this way. All right, let me just, um, I don't like to pause. If I get paused and cut off, I'll make another video with, um, yeah, but I've already ended out the affidavit, which is the most important thing here. Hang on. All right, this one was the first African-American female major generals breaks down the barriers these um they didn't say who these were but these look like mongolians to me mm, i want to say i look like there's some moors in here and possibly some mongolians but they look more like moors to me dave chappelle dave chappelle says that um our culture has accepted two huge lies hang on Why does it, st oh, hang on, let me see if I can go back. Two huge lies. Um, the one <coughs> says that, um, the first is that if you disagree with someone's lifestyle, you must fear or hate them. The second is that to love someone means you agree with everything they believe, say or do, both are nonsense. You don't have to compromise convictions to be compassionate. For that Dave Chappelle. Here's another more back in the day. Let me see here. Hang on. Let me see if I can bring them down. See that? Or it's a American Indian. Yeah, because they've got their bow and arrow there, it looks like. Hang on. Let me see if I can bring this back down. So we can see a few more. And we're stuck again. I don't know why it does that. And this is the last one here, you guys. More is in Europe. Right, so, yeah. See that? Turban with the feathers in it, right? All right, you guys, like, share, subscribe. You guys have yourself a great day. Remember, don't take my word for it. Go and do the research. Do not take my word for it. 
Remember to support us here. Go to PayPal at themollings at gmail.com. Remember, for those of you with child support cases, see if you can go to your spouse or your, you know what's funny? People write to us when I say that, right? Say they went to their spouse and their spouse cussed them out, all kinds of crap. Once you've done that, you've tried, you know what I mean? You've tried to make amends or tried to whatever. And I know some of you people are wretches, though. Why the people won't even talk to you? Because you did some shit. So anyways, all I'm saying is make sure the child's protected, right? And then for mortgages, foreclosures, child support cases, um, ticket citations, auto loans, student loans, and warrants. And those of you having to see an agent doing business as parole officers, as well as those of you in for non-violent offenses in the churches doing business as jails. That's all it is, you guys. It's a religion. You can email us for the GSA bond templates to set off, set off the matters and the 1099 OID to get back the finances they claimed you owed. Go to themullings at gmail.com. And I just want to end this with a prayer. Heavenly Father God, we pray thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you've implemented here, that we've lived to see. You know, this is an amazing time, you guys, to be alive, to see all the stuff that's happening, right? And again, thank you to all the reports that you sent to us. I wanted to see a little bit before I go um, that executive order. Let me see if I can bring it up, you guys. If it comes up, it's great. Then I can read to you guys some more stuff eh, before I go. Intel received direct from the President Trump's redemption team. That was Wednesday, August 28th. U.S. Um, redemption team. U.S. The inter Internet T4B group would receive notification. Um, they're saying um, between now and October the 31st. You guys listen out for that. Um, yeah. Okay. Here it is here. The American Project, Presidency Project. I'm 37 minutes in. June 16, 2020. This was made long before what happened yesterday. Executive Order 13929. Safe policing for safe communities. Go and see if those police officers got paid out by the cabal. Buy to do what they did yesterday. See if it's all, the whole thing is orchestrated. That's all I'm saying. By the authority. You guys notice anytime stuff's coming out, they put another... I, it's not a false flag, but it is a distraction to... Uh, swore the people's emotions over to this destruction while they're the ones that done all this stuff that's coming out now, right, globally. By the authority vested in me as president, um, by the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America, it is hereby ordered as follows. Senate Section 1, purpose as Americans, we believe that all persons are created equal and endowed with the inalienable rights to life and liberty, a fun fundamental purpose of government is to, is to secure these inalienable rights, federal, state, local, tribal, and te territorial law. Enforcement officers place their lives at risk every day to ensure these rights are preserved. Yes, we're not saying to defund the police on any level. Put more police, just get rid of the corrupted ones. Law enforcement officers provide the essential protection because Dane Calloway was reminding us when police started was to go after us indigenous, right? So they got to clear that stuff up now. Law enforcement officers provide the essential protection that all Americans require to raise their families and lead productive lives. Those of you who are moors and heirs, go to rvbaypublications.com to claim your correct Status your nationality identification cards, your Moorish American nationality identification cards. Yesterday I was um, compelled, compelled, somebody who had written to me on one of the 1099 um, OID videos we created on the Noble L Challenge channel. You guys subscribe to both of them. We're going to be uploading on the second one, Noble L the second. And Copper Aborigines was reminding us that there's a difference between Moors and Moorish, right? So I reposted that comment. Thank you for that, Copper Aborigines. Law enforcement officers, which was basically speaking to the HDR uh, 192, that they were acknowledging Moors and not necessarily Moorish, right? Because we're Moorish. 
However, they have to acknowledge us now because the ancestors are us returned. Okay, law enforcement officers provide the essential protection that all Americans require to raise their families and lead productive lives. Um, the relationship between our fellow um, citizens and law enforcement officers is an important element in their ability to provide that protection by working directly with the communities. Law enforcement officers can foster safe environment where we all can prosper. Unfortunately, there have been instances in which, I'm 40 minutes into this video, unfor unfortunately there have been instances in which some officers have misused their authority, challenging the trust and also shut down all those cannibalism uh, the Cannibalism Club shut it down. Thank you, Kiki Smith, for reminding us of that. We did make an affidavit that all those have to be shut down globally in Japan and all over the world. Shut them down. Unfortunately, there have been instances in which some officers have misused their authority. Challenging. Did you guys know that Kamala was also going to limit the amount of beef that people can eat? The amount of meat people can eat. Meanwhile, they were eating us and still doing that. Do you guys see what's going on here? So shut it down. Um, challenging. Unfortunately, there have been instances in which some officers, what I'm saying to shut down is the cannibalism stuff, right? Those of you out there who are still eating beef and stuff, I'm not in a position to tell anybody to become vegans and vegetarians because not everybody is a vegan and vegetarian. Unfortunately, there have been instances, but you don't have to eat us, all right? You can eat fish and whatever else. Because even we heirs have to eat fish and stuff like that. Especially the women. You can't just go off of everything willy-nilly. Your body needs some other stuff, right? Um, there have been... And if you're pregnant, it's a different ball game. Even the Rastafarian women here are talking about it. Unfortunately, there have been instances in which some officers have misused their authority. Challenging the trust of the American people with tra tragic consequences for individual victims their communities and our nation. All Americans are entitled to live with the confidence that the law enforcement officers and agencies in their communities will live up to their our nation's founding ideals. That's the Constitution, Iroquois Convent for Confederation, you guys. And will protect the rights of all persons, um, particularly, see there, persons, particularly in um, African-American communities, we must redouble our efforts as a nation to swiftly address instances of misconduct. Do you see that? Donald Trump's already talking about the fact that they were going after us. Okay? So they're going to investigate that situation with Walter Wallace or Wallace Walter, whatever. The Constitution declares, because even his tribe is saying, there's no need to tear up the whole of Philadelphia over it. Why destroy the whole, the whole town, the whole state over this stuff? It doesn't make any sense. Black Lives Matter, go around them up. The Constitution declares, declares in its preamble that one of its primary purposes was to establish justice. Generations of Americans have marched, fought, bled, and died to safeguard the promise of our founding document and protect our shared inalienable rights. Federal, state, local, tribal, and territorial leaders must act in furtherance of that legacy section two certification and cre credentialing what credentialing i don't know a state and local law enforcement agencies uh, must constantly assess and improve their practices and policies to ensure transparent safe and accountable delivery of law enforcement services to their communities. Independent credentialing um, bodies can accelerate these assessments, enhance citizen confidence, confidence in law enforcement practices and allow for identification and correction of internal. Yes, if you go and listen to the videos I just posted about, um, uh, Attorney General Barr will explain how many police forces have gotten this, um, I guess, new credentials and stuff. Eh? They want to reach, I think it's 4,000. I forget how many they've reached already. Listen to the docs crying. This morning I was listening to the docs talking back and forth. 
that was actually beautiful to hear independent credentialing um, bodies can accelerate these assessments and enhance he stopped not doc stopped um, enhance citizen confidence in law enforcement practices and allow for the identification and correction of internal deficiencies before those deficiencies result in injury to the public or to law enforcement officers. The Attorney General shall, as appropriate and consistent with applicable law, allocate Department of Justice discretionary grant funding only to those state and local law enforcement agencies that have sought or are in the process of seeking appropriate credentials from a reputable independent credentialing body certified by the Attorney General. The Attorney General shall certify independent credentialing bodies to meet safeguards to be set by the Attorney General reputable independent credentialing bodies. Um, I don't like that word credentialing can't pronounce it eligible for certification by the attorney general uh, should address certain topics in their reviews such as policies and training regarding use of force and de-escalation techniques performance management tools such as early warning systems that help to identify officers who may require intervention and best practices regarding community engagement the Attorney General standard for certification shall require independent credentialing bodies to a minimum confirm that the state local law enforcement agencies use a force policies adhere to all applicable federal state and local laws the state of local law enforcement agencies use of force policies prohibit the use of chalk holes a physical maneuver that restricts an individual's ability to breathe for the purpose of incapacitation except in those situations where the use of deadly force is allowed by law the attorney general shall engage with existing and prospective independent credentialing bodies to enforce them to encourage them to offer a cost-effective targeted credentialing process regarding appropriate use of force policing policies that law enforcement agencies are all si of all sizes in urban and rural jurisdictions may assess information sharing the attorney general shall create a database a database to coordinate the sharing of information between and among federal, state, local, local, tribal people and territorial law enforcement. Tribal law enforcement, that's us people. Oh, thank you, Attorney General Barr, for putting us in there. And a territorial law enforcement agencies concerning in instances, send the cow now. We're asking as a tribal Rubenite tribe chief to send the cows now, put them in the water so the water can calm down. Um, uh, local tribal and, and territorial law enforcement and send us the notes here that we need in order to function and help our people here right and territorial law enforcement agencies because we have to fix the back road you guys there's a little lane right here and it needs a whole bunch of mall that's going to be like another 40,000 worth of mall and someone to move it I'm probably going to get you to move it for me but I need to mall to do that over there instances of excessive use of force related to law enforcement matters of court accounting for applicable privacy and due process rights. The database described in subsection A of this section shall include a mechanism to track a per as permissible terminations or decertifications of law enforcement. You see, they can get terminated, you guys. Law enforcement officers, criminal convictions of law enforcement officers for on-duty con conduct and civil judgments against law enforcement officers for improper use of force. You guys do not get distracted. Stay on point. Find out who's behind all this stuff going on with Biden crime family. Why did they do it? The database described in subsection A of this section shall account for instances because even Barack Obama, they're saying, didn't know some of the stuff he was doing. Eh? 
and they were again some of the stuff it was doing so just remember that all right um use of off and i'm not saying he was any good i'm not saying barack obama did good either he did one thing good and some other stuff he did was really bad um for on duty conduct and civil judgments against law enforcement officers for improper use of force the database described in subsection of in subsection a of this section shall account for and yes there were several Barack Obamas you guys shall account for instances where a law enforcement officer resigns and retires while under active investigation related to the use of force the Attorney General shall take appropriate steps to ensure that the information in the database consists only of instances in which law enforcement officers were afforded their fair process. Yes, and when you're in a race, you always have to keep an eye on what's going on behind you. Eh? Don't think that because you're in front of the race, you win automatically. The Attorney General shall regularly, regularly and periodically make available to the public aggregated and anonymized data from the database described in subsection A of this section as a consistent and applicable law. All right, you guys are going to read the rest of it because there's quite a few left. You're going to read it. If I get a chance, I'll read it in the next video. I'm up to section, I want to say, is it three? Information sharing. Section three, information sharing. All right. If I get a chance, I'll do it in the next video. Like, share, subscribe. You guys have yourself a great day. Remember to give these videos a thumbs up. Remember to go to PayPal to support us <clears throat> at themullings at gmail.com. Remember to write for us for the GSA Bollings at 1099 OID and all the good stuff. And have yourself a great day. And remember, faith without works is dead. <laughs>